it's it's pretty impressive. Uh, I wrote it last year when I was here. And so uh, it's pretty cool. So it's, it, I would say if you like trains at all or would like to ride an old fashioned narrow gauge train, this is where you want to, this is where you want to be. All right. Well, I've ridden it. It was fun. I yes. loved it. Uh, you get a little soot in the face because <laughs> the there were open windows when I wrote it. I don't know if they've enclosed it now or not, but, but yes. it, was, it was very nice. I, I really liked it. It was a little good little trip to uh, Silverton. Yeah, it's a, it's a, to be honest, it's a long day. If you, if you ride up there and ride back, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a about a 10 hour day. So yeah. it's, but you uh, see sites that you would otherwise not see. And so, yeah. you know, it's quite beautiful. Yeah. I was in L L Lamar, Colorado one time I was working, I had a sales territory up there. And I remember I was sitting there waiting, watching the uh, Amtrak go by and the, the it, it was kind of a raised area where the track was so I could kind of I was kind of eye level with the track <laughs> and as that train whizzed through town you could see that rail go up and down you could actually see light underneath wow. between the rail and the and the uh, the uh, and oh the, my and the, and the ties the ties yeah the railroad ties that they mm -hmm. were sitting on you could just you could just see it just everything go up go up and I was saying holy cow anyway <laughs> Well, the one thing yeah, about this train, I'll say about this train is even though there are some um, some scary parts to it where you just feel like you're looking straight down the side of the mountain, mm -hmm. uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't go, yeah, you are, uh, it doesn't go very mm -hmm. fast, so yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's a nice, it's a beautiful though, I, I do recommend if you've never done it, it's worth Well, welcome worth to the DSA, do you write a lot of songs or are you just getting started or what? Yeah, I do, um, I do, I'm I'm not quite to where I feel confident performing, but I write guitar, a lot. Piano? Guitar? Uh, piano. Piano? Yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Well, and a uh, friend of mine that is a songwriter, um, I was looking just to connect with some people in Dallas or the Dallas area because most of my songwriting friends are in Austin, you know, or uh, New Braunfels area. And, and, then, um, and then I have some across the pond in the UK that I write with. And uh, I just was kind of feeling like I really wanted to try to make some connections closer to home. And I have a good friend named Helene Cronin that I think used to be a member. I'm not sure if she's still a member, uh, but she suggests that I look into the, the DSA. And so I, that's what I did. I just decided to join for a year and see what kind of opportunities were there and how I could plug in. Um, so this was, I'm not able tomorrow night to, to be on the event tomorrow night, and, but I got the email about tonight. So I thought, well, let me see what's going on and, um, you know, just get started somehow with, All right. with, with the well, organization. Good to, good to have you, Stacey. We're, um, this is our virtual open mic, which we have every Wednesday. And our host tonight is uh, going to be Alan Larson. And uh, so he'll start off the set, and uh, it'll be Alan, and then me, and then who was Ace, Her uh, Kara. Kara, wait, it was Alan, me, Kara, Ace, Harry, and Stacy. That's yeah, all. and I'm just I'm just gonna um, listen tonight. Oh, okay, you're not gonna you're not gonna share a song. Uh, well, I, once again, this is my first time to, I didn't really know what to expect and, and, uh, and I'm still, um, you know, a little shy, I guess. Not really, I'm not shy as a person, mm -hmm. but I'm shy about, about playing. So yeah, I get it. Yeah. Well, well, just feel comfortable. Better. Yeah. After, so, after you hear all of us play, you won't be shy at all. <laughs> so, um, everyone, I'll do, I want to do a little job of bills. Everybody be sure you're um your sound for musicians is turned on your original sound for musicians is turned on there's a reminder and alan you want to get us started uh sure um a couple of things i wanted to say before we started um one is just a matter of curiosity um did, about a year and a half ago did y'all get the email about the class action thing about mm -hmm. Zoom, and so I, no. I see Kara did. So I, uh, what the heck? I submitted the form. Well, I got an email 
last couple of days, I'm going to get thirty-two dollars. Same. Hey, that's a pretty good one. Thirty-two dollars and thirty-two cents. That's a pretty good one. one. Which yeah. is I, nothing to sneeze at because my Equifax data breach payout was five dollars and twenty-one cents. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah. I mean, you know, it goes it goes straight into savings. You know, it's like I'll just put it put it aside for a rainy day. So I'm pretty for- sure I I was wrong some way. I can't remember how, but yeah. so but I feel justified getting the thirty two dollars. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm apparently party to a class action lawsuit with Facebook, and I'm going. Yeah, me too. I, I feel I'm that like, mm, too. yeah, you know. So. I just throw those things away. Yeah, see what you're missing? I, yeah, I, think, I know, $32. Yeah, I, I think maybe because you, I think, paid for a, the paid version. You might have been, been entitled to more. I'm not sure. but I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, I'm too little, paid for that. Oh, I probably didn't get one because I'm through the college. Um, oh, yeah. Registered through the college. So um, the college probably maybe got a big check. Who knows? Yeah. And the other thing I was going to mention, I don't know if any of y'all are connected with Grover Duffield, but uh, what I've seen on his Facebook, he's got he's, some serious health issues going on right now. Yes, he does. What's going on with Grover since he's been on this virtual open mic? Just let us know. Yeah, I think he's, he's in hospice cancer or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's in oh, hospice. Pretty bad. He's in hospice now. <coughs> was that but at he home? Did mention- or? Participating yeah. in a Zoom open mic the other night. Yeah, some of his friends came over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Or is it? Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. So anyway, um, what else is there to cover before I, uh, Barb? I I wrote down the order of appearance here. Anything else we need to talk about before I start? I think that's it. Well, you know, we got a meeting tomorrow night. Um, and yeah. And we got a good speaker, so it, that's going to be a lot of fun. To, and then critiques afterwards. So. Who's the speaker tomorrow? Oops. I knew you were going to ask me that. I, I didn't get him, but let's do it. I saw the email. Does anybody remember who it is? I didn't know. I read it, but I didn't know who it was. Oh, hang on. Let me pull it up. I will not be there because I will be, you know, out of town. But what's what's new? I don't think I've made it to a meeting this pandemic, so... <laughs> I'm out. I'm out of grad school now. I don't have an excuse, you know. I gotta get on it. So, um, that's right. that's, uh, so you got your master's. Yep, I got my master's. And what what'd you get it in? I got it in library science. I'm looking at my library diploma science. right now. I'm I'm all like, you know, yeah, my diploma. You can't see my diploma. It's on the wall over here. Can you, you, you tell us you have a now? Library of Congress number? You wrote a, have a book or something? What now? Do you write a book and you have an actual Library of Congress number or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you, um, when you do the copyright, you do it through the Library of Congress. Oh, now, yeah. if you have your book in a library, it's going to be based off of either the Library of Con- Congress numbering system or the Dewey Decimal System. Okay. And it will, uh, you know, you won't have, the, what you're thinking of is the ISBN so you'll have the isbn which is what's inside the book tells you the book's identifier and then you've got the categorization which tells you where in the library you would find the book so why don't you be one of our speakers sometime and tell us how to write a book (laughs) um i could i could do that but i i sold probably 300 copies well, maybe maybe more when you include the free downloads of the audiobook, not the the, the ebooks. But uh, I'm not a bestseller by any stretch, so you know you may want to get somebody who's a little bit more. What was uh, your book? What what was your title? Uh, the Guardians of the Light trilogy, it's the oh, Shadow Child, Phoenix, and Shenya, and I have copies somewhere in this apartment but i am not going to look for them right now because we are here to do music okay. <laughs> i will i will i will post the link to uh to the um storefront the amazon storefront in in the uh chat for you guys so you can go look at them is there an audio, audio uh book? there there is not i'm working on it um but i apparently hate reading out loud so <laughs> I really need to find somebody to do it for me. So um, so Bill O'Hanlon is our guest speaker for tomorrow night. And he's been playing guitar, piano, and writing songs for 
50, over 50 years, so he's well into the music business here, and he's, uh, he's gotten over 79 plus cuts, his songs with independent artists and several sync placements. In addition, he's chosen as the Songwriter of the Year in the 2022 song by Songtown. Um, and th it was Michael Roth who um, brought him to us. So, is this so his, guy topic, in his topic is writing hookier melodies with the line plus three method. And so it should be interesting. And I don't know where he's from. Uh, Harry, answer your question. Hmm. Okay, let's get started here. Okay, With, without further ado, I picked this song because I was just taking a nap just for I woke up realized, oh, wait, I need to sign on and play. So this song maybe is to wake me up. The chance you gotta take. Upstairs, someone is pacing around the floor And outside, a stranger approaches the door This could be a friend from afar Or maybe you need to move your car This could be the one to steal your heart Maybe the one to stand and deliver Maybe the one to bring it all home to you Yeah, ain't that just the chance you got to take is on the prowl and who's that knocking on your door anyway why well, it could be publishers clearing house with a big fat check just waiting for you yeah this could be that one in a million maybe one in a thousand maybe the one to stand and deliver maybe the one to bring it all home to you you yeah, ain't that just a chance you got to take chance you gotta take oh by the way check out my t-shirt oh uh, that almost glows in the dark doesn't it it, I does. Like that. it does where did you uh, did you get that at the festival yeah from a street vendor uh, where uh -huh. there's a street vendor that's from a shop that I also ran into around the corner on one of the streets I walked around Sunday when I was back playing uh-huh yeah Cool. Yeah. Alrighty. Somebody's getting some line noise. Or it's my, it's Alan. Is it Alan? Yeah. Is it me? Yeah. Is it is it maybe because I have a fan on next to me? Probably. Could yeah. Be. But I'm cool. Okay. Well, that's cool. <laughs> well, Barbara, you're next. All right. Oh, oh is somebody acting as 
You are, you are but I'm going to remove your spotlight, and now you you got it. Now I'm in charge. You're I, in charge. I, I did do a co-thing, co-host, so you should be able to do that. Let's see. I've been a while. I forget how to pull it up. Let's see. Participants. Can y'all hear my piano okay? I, you know, I had to tear down my piano and go off somewhere. Sounds and good. Come back, oh, it so. sounds great. Yeah. Sounds all right. At each rising of the sun, I'm thankful for each one of the heroes that shield my home. over from Memorial Weekend. <clears throat> okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay, Kara, I'm, according to my notes, you would be next. Let's mm -hmm. see if I can remember how right. to do this. So I'm not sure, I don't remember. Uh, also, my um, I've changed computers since the last time I did this, so um, let's do pick or no pick. Tell me how, how good or how bad it sounds. Mm -hmm. That's with with the pick, and that's without the pick. I think either one is okay. Either one? All right.
Cause I'll miss you every day And when the final dawn arrives I'll meet you out there far away Shine, shine my yellow rose Together glowing bright We'll never be apart again Beyond the stormy colorful night Okay, just just for next time, you might try just the fingers. Just the fingers. Because the guitar was overpowering your vocal a little bit. Okay. Don't y'all don't y'all agree? The other other folks there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. No pick. She'll put the pick away. Either way, I don't. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, this uh, this fellow's next. A guy named Ace. Ace is the place. And now ace and bass, so... Uh, Alright, well this is pretty obvious what this song is about. This is about us and uh, what we do on Wednesday nights. Well, welcome to our party. We hope to make you smile. At least forget your problems for a while. You needn't leave your laptop or even leave the room for the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. We're the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. We'll play for you like we're sitting in your room. So sip the beverage of your choice and listen to the voice of the pretty darn good ivory on zoo. Well, what a cast of characters we have for you online. Pretty soon we'll have you feeling fine. With wit and Texas wisdom, we'll banish doom from gloom at the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. We're the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. We'll play for you like we're sitting in your room. So sip the beverage of your choice and listen to the voice of the pretty darn good Opry on Zoom. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Very good. Well, that's a pretty us. darn good song. <laughs> well, Very we're, good. Darn we're the good pretty opera. darn good opry dog on it. We may not be the the uh, coming for the rhyming, but you know what can you do? We need to make that our uh, opening. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Hey, Grover. Good to see you, buddy. Well, I, we'll hear from him soon, I'm sure. All right. I'm, that, me, oh, that's here me. He comes. Hey. Here he comes. Oh, he's got his guitar. His ears must be burning. Yeah. But, well, Grover, if you want to play, Harry is next, but then you'll be next. I, uh, can y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you said you're coming through, buddy. Uh, I need a couple of seconds to get set up. Uh, I don't know if y'all have heard, but I've got stage four lung cancer and liver cancer, and I ain't winning this battle. Uh, but I'm going to play music until... I can't. God All bless right. you, Grover. You're yeah, welcome. That's the spirit. Dang. You're welcome yeah. as long as you want to play. You betcha. Your voice but, is going, man. Mm -hmm. I got to get everything. They kind of set me up in my corner of the bedroom. 
set me up about half of my stuff in the corner of the bedroom. So. All right. Yeah. You just let us know whenever you're ready. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, other than I'm going to listen to a pretty damn good Opry on the Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> pretty darn go. good Opry. That's right. All right. On Zoom. Okay. Well, Harry. Uh, Harry's next. I'm going to bring, bring you up. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. That's wrong. I mean, meant to do. Uh, wait a minute. Let's see. Well, I can't. Okay, you're already spotlighted, so I need to. How do I do this? I need to remove spotlights like Grover and myself. Okay, there you are. You okay. got it to yourself. First off, I, this this I'm set up a little different tonight. I, first off, I got got my big old guild that I got from James Pappas, and then I don't have my gooseneck on my uh, for my my microphone, so I've just got it sitting right on the mic pole, and it's right in front of me between me and the screen, so we'll see how it works. Do a Tahoka Daisy. I met that little yellow rose way down in Texas, don't you know, but Rosie never did a thing for me. Cause Texas has another flower I think about her every hour Her beauty is fresher than the morning breeze So take me up just south of Lubbock To that place where we both grew up She's the first flower I've ever seen I'm talking about the Hoka Daisy She's the one who drives me crazy Toka Daisy, you're the gal for me The Hoka Daisy Daisy, I'll be true. And like that little blossom of purple and gold, I know our love will always grow. The whole good daisy, you're so sweet, you've got me on my knee. The whole good daisy, you're the lady, and will you marry? Texas has another flower. I think about her every hour. Her beauty is fresher than the morning breeze. So take me up just south of Lubbock to that place where we both grew up. She's the prettiest flower I've ever seen. I'm talking about the Hoka Daisy. She's the one who drives me crazy. Toka Daisy, you're the gal for me. The Hoka Daisy, you're the lady. this set up all wrong just a second here I didn't have my I got my well, I can't get it up there I'm on the uh, hang on here well it sounded good I know but to me it's I couldn't hear it because I've got I've got it on uh, no it's right it's right it's working right but I, yeah what I need to do is plug this guitar in I couldn't hear the guitar through the mic Oh, okay. Was it balanced? Well, it, it was. It was uh, really good balanced. When you hear it back, you'll see. Yeah. So okay, whatever your settings are, hang on to them. I will. I will. Okay. Well, that was me. Next. Mm -hmm. Next. Barb. Okay. We were back to Alan, right? Or, or Grover, if he's ready. Grover. Uh, Grover, are you ready? Or are you still Maybe getting Maybe not quite yet. Up? I'm 30 seconds from being good enough. Okay, we can probably... We, uh, we can wait 30 seconds. Anybody got a joke? I think we know. I just think that would make a great song, 30 seconds from Good Enough, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a good time. I'm, I'm, I'm usually a I mean, minute and a half from good song, enough. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's get the spotlight on uh, Grover. Whenever uh, I might need a small sound check. I might need a small sound check. Y'all can hear my voice, right? You sound loud and clear. Sound great, buddy. Yeah, we can hear that good. <laughs> Guitar's loud. I thought I turned that off. I really did. I had it plugged into an amplifier, making screaming rock and roll guitar noises. Wake the neighbors. Ooh, I was off a little bit. Can you hear the guitar? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming through loud and clear. What the hell am I doing wrong? Somehow. It must be a positioning error. I only 
nothing I missed I only hope that there's nothing I missed Could y'all hear me? I could barely hear myself. You yeah, sound great, buddy. Oh, oh no. no. You were loud and came, clear. Came through 100%, man. 100%. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay. Uh. Well, I guess it's... Yeah, I was trying to find the spotlight here. It's back to me. And I guess I am going to do my true crime junkie song there actually is a podcast that goes by that name true crime junkie so do you uh, watch dateline all the time yeah all the you're, time yeah you're the dateline fan that comes on one o'clock every day on channel five i think yeah and uh it's on cable you can find it a few times during the day and then mm -hmm. That ID channel, it's got a bunch of crime shows. <laughs> the, the the murder next door, murder next door, you know, all kinds of. I do the ID. Do you? I'm a big ID junkie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm kind of getting to where I've seen almost every Dateline show, I think. And then one of the A and E, I think, plays at forty-eight hours reruns. So anyway, let's let's try this. This is uh, uh, my song. They found her dead at the bottom of the stairs. The cops were puzzled when they got there. The husband claims he was out of town. But tell us about those rumors going round. Cause you see, I'm a true crime junkie I wanna know who done it Is it the one so cunning? So hold on steady I get the popcorn ready While they check his shoes And get some more clues Cause I'm a true crime junkie I'm watching all night long Around town whispers were filling the air About some kind of scandalous affair There was a mystery car that drove off in the dark They later found it burned up in the park Now I'm a true crime junkie And I won't be surprised If alibis are a bunch of lies Hold on steady, I got the popcorn ready Yeah, I'm hooked, silly, call me guilty Being a true crime junkie Watching all night long I can binge for 48 hours on Dateline Got 20-20 vision what will the forensic files say? Will DNA put the perp away? A true crime junkie is what I am. An armchair detective kind of man. Let's hold on steady, I'll get the popcorn ready. Solving crimes all night long. I'm a true crime junkie. pleasure true crime junkie if you're a true crime junkie put your hands up now so there Make, makes you not want to get married or have kids when you watch that dateline <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're, always, they're always guilty one do yeah. you watch pbs and uh midsummer murders no i've never really watched that is that good it is i like it because it's yeah, a, it is good you know, it, it is takes good. place in england yeah. now, um 
Uh, no, there's I don't always watch any of those shows. I there's should've. always three murders on Midsummer Murders. Huh. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I happen to watch one show is about Berlin and the Nazis had just, or no, there's just the end of the war and the city was divided. And it was really interesting. I only saw one episode. I, I don't know. Never. Anyway, yeah, they do have some good dramas on there. That's for sure. Well, Barb, I think you are next. I'll spotlight it myself. Okay, yeah. <laughs> You're quicker on the draw than I am. The screen's a little different tonight for me. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm on full screen. And there we go. Okay. Let me I'm going to mute him. I'm doing better here. Okay. I'm going to do a song that I was going to do Sunday night, but I ran out of time. This is from the musical Give Me a Break that I wrote with Lori Wyndham. And actually, this is Lori's song that she brought to the musical. Um, but I like to do it. Thank you, thank you. It was very, very nice, very nice. Very nice. I, I, I saw that play, didn't I? I think you did, yes. Yes. Okay, Kara. All righty. You, you are, let's see, there we go. All right, so no pick, since the pick was too much on the last song. I didn't think it was too bad, but the other guys did. <laughs> Well, 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 it wasn't bad. It just uh, your voice. It wasn't balanced with your voice. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a challenge when you've only got the one microphone, and right. you know you're trying to play uh, the guitar down here, and you're singing up here, and the microphone is smack dab in between the two. You know what's going to happen. Yeah. You gonna play some of that piano later? Um. Well, I actually uh, am going to have to get off at eight because I got to finish packing and getting ready for oh, right. trip and all that. So, yeah. do you want me to switch over to the piano and well, do a piano song no. instead of a guitar song? That's all right. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> all right. 
All right, well, since I didn't do this one at Wildflower because I did do the keys there, and this one is absolutely not to be done on anything but the guitar, uh, I'll do, I'll do this, I'll do Wild West. All right. here without the pick that was just kind of <laughs> sorry about that i don't know it sounded good to me <laughs> sounded great to me yeah oh, i'm glad i i'm glad that y'all enjoyed it yeah. I'm gonna... i i, I never use a pick claire, claire i uh, uh -huh. i beat the hell out of my index finger but i <laughs> i never use a pick i got club nails so the, uh -huh. na the nail picks won't work and I was never able to hold on to a flat pick. Yeah, I uh, I had I had a pick go flying uh, in the middle of of doing music at a friend's a friend's uh, house, and everyone went, you know, it actually sounds just fine without it. Why don't you just not use the pick? And I'm like, yeah, I have no idea where it went. So you know, we're going we're going no <laughs> pick now. All right, I'm gonna sign off of here and log in to the live stream over on Facebook so I can enjoy y'all's music while I you know go get ready for my trip oh have a good trip y'all have a good one yeah, i did uh enter your link your for your book on in the comments on the facebook page. okay awesome okay. yeah thanks mm -hmm. all right bye y'all have a good trip okay bye -bye. Fun. all right mr ace you you have the spotlight i'm gonna unmute myself that always sounds very liberating. I'm going to unmute myself here in public. This is a song I wrote for my lovely wife, and she likes it. So it's a, as far as I'm concerned, this is, this this did what it was supposed to do. <laughs> it's always, it's called "You'll Always Be So Beautiful to Me." I look your way and feel you sway my heart beat. Yes, you're the lass who once enchanted me. The youngsters say together, we are so sweet. You'll always be just beautiful to me. To me, you're still the golden sun in winter time. A few lifelines can't obscure that truth from me. 
confident you waltz through life confident you waltz through life in perfect time you'll always be just beautiful to me your glance still flashes stormy grace and beauty now deeper and more complex like vintage wine and frankly you are still quite a cutie i always melt when you put your hand in Well, I'm still a goofball when you smile and giggle. My heart still jumps when you look back at me. The twinkle in your eyes remains a riddle. It'll always be just beautiful to me. It'll always be just beautiful. Or the lovely Mrs. Pounder. Very sweet. <laughs> I got husband points out of that, so that's good. All right. All right. Um, so it's Harry's turn. You want to unmute yourself? Unmute thyself. <laughs> Okay, me turn, here we go. I'm plugged in a little bit now. I got I got one of those, uh, oh, how they come, th uh, 3K. Anyway, I got it, I'm plugged in. Now those 
those young GIs were only human. The world soon forgot their names, but to boys like boys like me who remember those old soldiers won't ever fade away. North Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Whole world is going up in flames. You can sing this song 10,000 times. Different words, different rhymes. Last two lines will always be the same. He hit that beach a running. He was only 17. Never knew what hit. Woke up in Walter Reed. Drank too much, got left behind by the homely girl he loved. Old soldiers never die. Is that right, Uncle Bill? Missed the bridge on that, sort of. Hokey dokey. You know, does the does your email ever pop up right in the middle of one of your <laughs> songs and it show it covers half the screen? You know, you get a, get when a, a message comes in and everything just goes like that. Yeah, but we didn't hear the ding or anything like that. Didn't hear that so, right? uh, uh. It, you do. I mean, you couldn't see it on that side, but on this side, it starts playing playing the game. It never does it until you start singing. Sometimes in mode, I, in some modes, I while I'm playing, I just slightly move the mouse, and it causes the uh, entire zoom screen to disappear, and I just see. My, yeah, yeah, and you got to get it back. Yeah. So I'm in, I'm in gallery view right now on my screen. It's not on y'all's, but on mine. You know, I mean, I'm a yeah. the upper left hand corner. I, I sometimes do that too. So anyway, uh, okay, we're such is life. We're around to Grover. I see he's got his guitar in hand. There's no guarantee it's in tune. I hear Darth Vader in the background. Oh my um, God, no um, telling what machine's going off. I think that was when you were breathing or something. It could be. You all hear that? I hope you all hear it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's loud and clear. Watch the video the other day. All the stars. That have gone away It took me back To another time But I've seen simple So sublime I was raised out west On a dry farm The country wind And a country charm a driving movie, such a delight. Three channels on TV, we had that all right. But where we see these channels on these screens, where they would take us far away, it seems. 
those little escapes had great appeal. Oh, by the way, we knew they weren't real. Yet we thrilled for these short escapes to witness a journey. With their passing, don't mourn for long. For having left us, they still stand strong. For flipping through the channels of my TV, there they are standing, like I used to see. Captured forever. I gotta stop. I'm sorry, guys. Oops, be right back. I'm so sorry. We, we understand, buddy. Okay. Yeah, Alan, try to just jump in and. Okay, he'll, he'll be he... back when he's ready. D didn't know what right back meant. But I guess I will go ahead and play a song. Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay. I don't think I've done this tune anywhere in a while, so I figure it was overdue for a workout. <laughs> This is a uh, clear blue sky. Sometimes I get myself turned inside out, filled with doubt. Laugh at me, you say, ah, oh, come on. Then suddenly I'm feeling fine. You pull me right back in line. I resist how I try, I do. I try. Some days this old world leaves me so downtrodden. So rotten. I get so broken in despair. Could you bring me a welcome breath of sweet fresh air? Now the sun is shining and I feel fine. You pull me right back in line. I resist, but now all I see is nothing. But clear blue sky, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So thoughts getting overblown like they're known for I know that you will come to call and pull me out of another one of my free falls now sunshine makes me feel so fine pull me right back in line I resist how I try, I do. All I see now is nothing, nothing but clear blue sky.
Okay. Um, so that was me. As you oh, tell. really? <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's me a while ago. Yep. Now it's you. Say moi. Meant no? No, it's <laughs> Barbie. All right. You know what? There's going to be a full moon this Saturday. So I thought I'd do my full moon song. Transpose that down. What? Wrong. Hello. Let's go do it. Hello. Not octaves, stupid. Just half steps. Here we go. Thank goodness for keyboards. Well, you got, you guys got capos, so that works the same way.
Dropping out, or is it Ace now? Yeah, it's yes. me, I guess. There you go. This is a song. This is a song about being unfair to clowns. I mean, you see somebody, a public figure, a politician, a movie star, or something, do something absolutely stupid. And you say, what a clown. And I, I know clowns, and I think that's unfair, so I wrote this song. We're unfair to clowns. There's no reason to put them down. Yet they're grouped with crank fanatics Who keep their ants tied up in attics But actually they seem more down We're unfair to clowns We're unfair to clowns there's no reason to put them down They only seek to entertain Your funny bone or perhaps your brain When their pants fall to the ground We're unfair to clowns It isn't fair to blame them for the idiots you meet Clowns are performing artists Whose families got to eat to clowns there's no reason to put them down so let us try not to cite them in contemporary politics or social mayhem blaming them is out of bounds we're unfair to clowns unfair to clowns Unfair to clowns. There. A piece of pro-clown propaganda for a change, friends. You only hear the other side. Yeah, but I said, not for the underdog. John, Absolutely. John Casey, what, whatever his name, he's he's in a different category, though, right? You know, the, the serial killer. Oh, well, yeah, 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 that, that, that's a little John different. John Casey something. No, no, John, John something, yeah, three names. And that's why I never use my middle name, because anybody who uses all three names is obviously a psychotic killer, so I try to stay away from that. Okay. I have my very own clown hanging on the wall uh, that I did when I was, like, in elementary school. We used to do, we did block uh, prints, you know, where we carved out something. I carved out a clown. I was going to try to show it, but it did, it wasn't going to come out very good on the video thing. I never so. had a clown. I'm, hmm. <laughs> I, oh well. I was at the state fair one time, and uh, many years ago, and there was two or three clowns that were, like, taking a break, just sitting on a park bench, and I took a photo of them. I, if, if I knew where it was, I would share it right now, but it, it, was, it always kind of amused me. They were just... Sitting there relaxing, and they waved for my camera. It's, it's kind of a cool moment. 
You need to find that photo and give it to Ace so he can use it exactly uh, for his song. Yes. Right? Yeah, I, I would put that. Yeah, no question. <laughs> I That's think cool. it's on my desktop computer. I'll, I'll check later. Let's mm -hmm. see. So let me. Uh, it's, it's Harry's time, so I need to. It's Harry's time. Clear. Clear. Uh, clear away the trash. <laughs> <laughs> get all that. Get all those trashy-looking people out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. You got the wrong guy there. Up there. It is, yeah. Okay. I bored it. Yeah, I broke my my lamp the other day. I've got a, I'm boring one from the living room now. It's, it works a little bit different, but anyway, here we go. It's called Six Eggs Ed. Every word's true, sort of. <laughs> Oop, let me start over here. Six eggs in. My mama said he'll eat us out of our house and home. Takes all we got just to feed our own. Six eggs. Six eggs in. We sat down at the table, bowed our heads. What mama's, what daddy said to bless it. Was all watching old Ed, six eggs, six eggs Ed. Before we could even finish uh, buttering our bread, old Ed had eaten every egg we had, six eggs, six eggs Ed. Next day he didn't come to pick her Oh, when he caught him. Doc said he almost died He ate a egg that was rotten Six eggs Six eggs in We still don't know for sure If it was Mama or the hen But <laughs> mention Ed's name And all she does is grin Six eggs Here we go. And you ask for more If mama's frying eggs You better stop at four Six eggs Six eggs in She goes to church on Sunday Reads the Bible every night But you eat too many eggs She's gonna change your appetite Six eggs Six eggs in Supper. <laughs> Fried eggs. <laughs> I'll take four. No, I'll make that five. Nope. I don't want six. Uh uh. Save that one for Ed. In case he comes back by. Six eggs. Six eggs. Ed. 
Six eggs. Six eggs in. Six eggs. Ooh. True story. Thank you very much. I want breakfast now. No, uh, you can't. You ain't, don't don't take six eggs though. You might might one of them might be rotten. No. Okay, that's it. You okay. Take the camera off now. <laughs> All right. Or just leave it on there, yeah. You can uh, lip sync my words. Okay. Let's see. Here's another one I don't believe I've done in a while. Um, imagine yourself driving across Texas or the Southwest somewhere or something, and you stop in a little town to eat, and you kind of imagine what it might be like to live there. It kind of looks idyllic. Or is it? Anyway. <laughs> uh, trying to remember how I play this. Okay. Alan, why don't you turn your fan off in the background? Oh, okay. Alexa, turn off fan. Is that better? Yes. Thank you. I think you'll appreciate it when you hear it back. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, not aware how loud it is. I just know I get kind of warm in here every now and then. Okay. Meanwhile. Come on, fingers. Kicking up dust on a country road. Head to a place called Prairie Rose. Doesn't ever much changes around here. Folks stick around year after year. I want to know how do they get there from here? I want to know are they having some fun? How do they keep their grass so green? Is everything here the way that it seems in Prairie Rose? got a lot to say pretty little waitress she gives me a wink she sits down asks me what do I think I say I want to know how do we get there from here I want to know am I anywhere near tell me the secret short and sweet so hope for an answer knock me off my feet prairie rose that's how it goes is better than where I've been That's why I come here To Prairie Rose As I head out of town More old man he's faded And he's fallen down This place here is a little bit quaint But what it, what it is what it is It ain't what it ain't Prairie Rose How do we get there from here I want to know Am I anywhere near How do you get your grass so green Is everything here The way that it seems Prairie Rose
prairie roast. All right. So are you are you hitting the guitar with your thumb when you're playing? I, not on that song. I, I think I'm mostly using the pick. Why did it sound like something? Well, I, it was either that or you were stomping your foot or something. I heard this like click or that you were hitting. Did ever anybody else hear that? Is that? Is that, that was quick? A, that was just his false his teeth. What? <laughs> <laughs> What do you say? Harry, you're so bad. I told her that was that was your false teeth clicking. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. well never mind. I just heard a steady beat. It sounded like a drum beat. It was sounded good. I don't know, it's probably the <clears throat> Yeah. I mean I was kind of holding the pick real close. Okay. Not like that. That may have been why. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I liked it. I, I liked it. Sometimes. It sounded good because it ma made this kind of a uh, rhythmic sound. Yeah. I, yeah, I got one of those. Uh, I ran across it the other day. I forgot I have it. One of those uh, symbol things you can, or uh, not symbol. I'm trying to say uh, tambourine things that you can put <laughs> attached to your foot. A little small tambourine. Oh yeah. Uh huh. And I've used those before, but what happens is I'll start <laughs> doing it in time, and then all of a sudden it stops. And I'm like, well, why did you stop? Oh, that was me. <laughs> It's hard for me to remember. Oops. <laughs> keep that foot going, yeah. Oops, oops. Well, I got I got this little drummer captured in my keyboard, and I won't let him out. Yeah. He's He's got to work for me. <laughs> yeah, those, those are, are very handy to have. Oops, there you go. All right, I think it's my turn here. Yeah. I'm going to do a song I haven't done in a while. And um, so let's see how we go here.
those drums were way too loud. I, I like those drums. Have you ever used, do you, is that a different drum beat you use tonight than normal? On that song? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah I like that. That's a good heavy beat. Does I that, like mean that. That, you're, <clears throat> that mean that you're singing to a different drummer? Is that what that means? It's right. <laughs> 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 wow. That was the old uh, Rolling Stone drum beat, wasn't it, From hon for Honky Tonk Woman or something, right? Ah, that you makes know sense, what that yeah. Is? It might, yeah. might have been, I yeah. think it is from Honky Tonk Woman. Yeah, I heard. What, what With the cowbell? Yeah. More cowbell. That was the more Saturday cowbell. night. More cowbell. That was Saturday Night yes. Live joke. More, more cowbell. A real old joke, though, way well, back the, when. But there's a, yeah, there's <clears throat> a brewery in uh, the uh, Houston area that makes more cowbell beer believe it or not and then they have they, they somebody brought up some he was in houston brought up some and it was they had even more cowbell yeah. i like i think i'd like to try some more cowbell absolutely beer. absolutely it's good it's yeah, good that was such a classic sketch on saturday night Live. Yeah, yeah, i heard yeah. will ferrell on a podcast talking about it you know just how he came up with the concept and it was just kind of weird to explain at you know the writer's table around Saturday Night Live well it's just the guy wants more cowbell <laughs> well, yeah, but when they did it they Who realized wouldn't? this is hilarious apparently Chris Walken wasn't even sure what is this sex sketch going to be but it, was, <laughs> it turned out to be a classic so you listen to podcasts on what uh, an audacity or where um, I've been finding through Google has a podcast site and they list. You oh, they do. It. Apparently, uh -huh. but anything, yeah. Seems like everybody's podcasting these days. Yeah, uh -huh. I listened to crime podcasts, and this was the one that uh, Dana Carvey and David Spade do together. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. Fly on the wall, I think it's called. Oh, that's got to be a good one. Yeah, because those two two guys themselves are hilarious enough to listen to. It, yeah, exactly. And then they get a lot of Saturday Night Live alumni, and I, mm -hmm. I think that Paul McCartney on one time, and just mm -hmm. a little bit of everybody. And another good one is, uh, oh, who? Oh, I can't think of a celebrity. Anyway, but there's some where they interview celebrities. Oh, Conan O'Brien has one, too. Uh, oh, yeah. There's two or three, or any number of crime podcasts, but my now, favorite. Is that all on this Google podcast? Is it Google slash forward slash podcast or something? Uh, or? Well, it's an app on my phone, um, Google Podcasts. Okay. Um, Interesting. Yeah, but I think they're all, anybody that has podcasts, they pretty much have the same library to choose from, I guess. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just... Trying to figure out podcast once, and oh, let's see, Google's got these. So I, I could get some on Amazon. I got Amazon. Well, uh, Audacity, the, I, I hear, I mean, I see a lot of things, uh, podcasts say available at, at on Audacity or whatever. So that used to be a recording site, I think, but now it looks well, like it's a podcast. I've got Audacity software, yeah. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I, I don't know. I guess there's a podcast, Audacity podcast, too. There site. might be, yeah. Sorry, uh, Ace. We're just <laughs> not. You just chime in there. We're just talking. Uh, I, 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 I don't have that much audacity. What can I say? You know, I'm just not audacious enough to be on it, you know. Yeah. And goodness knows, I just don't have enough criminal background. Although I was telling the story, which I will not tell all the details, but the story to a friend of the night that I met the uh, police chief of our small. Uh, a borough of Forest Hills. When I was uh, dad, he discovered me and his uh, daughter down in the uh, basement, uh, expressing our mutual affection. And, and uh, well, he let it be known that I was no longer welcome there. <laughs> I bet. I ran to into get her. rid of this guy, this hippie. Get, oh, this, God, get this hippie out of my basement. <laughs> one, one more, one more true crime story. I saw a cartoon the other day of a podcaster doing his true crime podcast from this house I just broke into. <laughs> <laughs> he was set up with his microphone. Yeah, I just broke into this house. Anyway. <laughs> Brave of him to admit that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
brave or foolish anyway so all right well i'm gonna do one of my sentimental sort of songs it was nice to see bobby back last night i know he's having a rough time because i've been there and done that so but anyway this is i always think of him when i do this song i wrote it for him because we're both big fans of texas waltzes Just another waltz for Texas Just another twirl around the floor Just another waltz for Texas You know there's always time for one more The click of the heels scrapes the polished wood floors As bright sweeping skirts catch the eye our hearts fill the room with a crescendo of love It drifts across the broad Texas sky We'll lift our heads up As we move to the music And gaze into each other's eyes Just another waltz for Texas just another twirl around the floor Just another waltz for Texas You know there's always time for one more When the rhythm of the music seems to sweep up your heart As the sweet harmonies sweep and fall Let's extend this night a little bit longer Another waltz round Texas, y'all We'll keep our heads up as we move to the music and gaze into each other's eyes Just another waltz for Texas Just another twirl around the floor Just another waltz for Texas You know there's always time You know there's always time for one more You know there's always time for one more There. Just another waltz for Texas. Yeah. Very cool. Well, Harry, I think you get to take us home. Yeah, you got time for your one minute song when I finish this. You got you got to take us home with that one minute song. Don't you? Yeah, we got ten minutes yeah, or ten nine minutes. minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna play a nine minute song, and then and then you can <laughs> play, play your an song. eight minute song, and Alan can play his one minute song. There you go. Yep. First time she kissed him, best looking guy she'd ever seen. He said he would never leave her. She was eager to believe. He left her for another. She took him back again. Little did she know how that first love would end. Too timed again Too timed again That's how a heartache begins Too timed again Too timed again It happened Her heart was broken 
and then it happened again. Next time she saw him, it was no different than before. There he was, knocking on her door. I'll spare you all the details. It really is a sin the way that same fella broke her heart again. Too timed again. Too timed again. That's how a heartache begins. Too timed again. Too timed again. It happened. Her heart was broken. Let's hear that one-minute song. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I will play the legendary Mr. Enthusiastic. Have, we have five minutes. <laughs> play it five times. Oh, wait, I'm play sorry, we have slow. four minutes. Four times. Uh, close enough for rock and roll. Let's see. Uh, I had to get down. And my so mouse play- fell off the... You can play anything you want. We've got four minutes. Yeah, well, if I talk and kill enough time. (laughs) Anyway. Um, Oh, yes. Let's see. Better put this where I can see. So, Harry, when you go to the bridge on that song, what chord do you go to? Uh, F sharp. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's short. Yeah. So, are we ready? Are this you ready? The important thing is, are you ready? I, I think so. <laughs> this is the legendary, not the open mic version, but the closing time version. You know, and it's like, hey, you know, time to wrap up your music. We're closing. So, it goes a little bit like this. I haven't done this in a while. Let's see if I can get the words right. I got one minute left for one more song. The manager says this tune can't be too long. I'd like to play another hour more. But a blue-haired teen is sweeping up Showing folks the door Now 
Now there's half a minute left to try to persuade you to tip the wait staff and the musicians who have played. Buy your girl a CD and a t-shirt, that'll impress her. We got beer koozies she'll always treasure, but it's too late now, cause look, here comes the hood. We got the lights the other night. So what was it? Uh, Sunday night at the bar in the bar. Yeah. <laughs> we got right, the last call for alcohol. You know the mm-hmm. they, they the blink the, the blink of the lights. Yeah. Uh-huh. I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, I haven't played really. a club in a long I haven't time. Haven't closed the bar in a long time. Yeah, yeah. I don't uh-huh. think they did that Friday night or Saturday night, but they sure so did. So they closed night. at midnight. Uh, yeah, on Sunday. They did on Sunday. They were that's closing why at two o'clock early. on those other nights, but Sunday mm-hmm. they closed at twelve. That's why it was. Huh. Mm-hmm. So it was the streets, I guess, not as crowded as. On no, they Sunday. didn't. They didn't put the barricades up Sunday night. Yeah, Friday was a zoo. It and was Saturday, just, yeah. And Saturday, yeah. Yeah, well, I would have stayed, but John and Susan were leaving. He was going to walk, drive me to my car, and everybody else was, I guess, in for the whole till midnight. And I was kind of ready to get back. I guess I don't know. I should have stayed. Could have, could have, would have, should have, but. Could it, oh, that's a song. That's, that was yeah. our song of the year this year. Yeah. Y'all, 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 y'all heard what happened to me when it got back. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, that's awful, man. One hundred twenty-nine dollars. <laughs> How long do you have to wait to get the boot off? About twenty minutes. It, they that's got not that bad. guy. That guy. His job was in that parking lot, basically. I mean, mm-hmm. when we were driving out of there, Bill, you know, the lights were kind of shining on other cars. Bill said, "Look at there." Said that car's booted. That car's booted. There was. You could see two or three cars there just driving out that had wow so uh he was so making you, his money he was you used the wrong code well what i did i i used the app in the parking lot that doesn't require the app but the parking lot across the street was the one that i was i was paying for and i wasn't paying for the one that i was parked in and i didn't realize that because the one i was parked in you gotta you gotta do the a qr code up on the post Oh, and I so. Yeah, I guess you had to. So I, it was careful. my fault. It's my fault. You know, they make a lot of money off of people like me. Huh. Well, we had a pretty good night for people who came. Everybody was a little bit late, it seemed like, but you know, now we're here. We're here with Alan and Harry and Ace and me, and then we had Kara and uh, we got to see Grover for a little bit, which was good. Yeah. And and our new friend Stacy tuned in. Did I miss anybody? Nope. Nope. Right. That's so we'll see everybody good. next week or either next week for the virtual open mic or tomorrow night for our workshop and song critiques with Bill O'Hanlon. And um, so I'm just going to get us off of Facebook. Everybody wave a little bit. And All right. Let me stop see you tomorrow or later than that.